Hello, hello. Happy Friday, everyone. TGIF. It is Friday. It's actually a very rainy Friday here uh, in Rochester, Minnesota. Uh, so I do apologize that I'm here late, later than I expected. Um, I was experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to day five of the Get What You Want workshop. Uh, for those of you who are just catching this, um, catching the replay, I'm Denise Stegall. I'm the CEO and curator at livinghealthylist.com and Living Healthy List Academy, which is something that I started to talk to you guys about yesterday um, and how the Academy can help you get closer to the things that you desire and help you truly get what you want out of life. So the goal, uh, truly, it's about what you want. And so early in the week, we, we started with figuring out, okay, what is it that you want? Um, too often, we focus on what we don't want. And the more we focus on what we don't want, actually, the more we bring that into our lives. So stop thinking about the don't and start thinking about the I want, fill in the blank. And I want you to remember, if you have good things in your life, and most of us do have really great things in our lives already, that doesn't mean that you're a bad person if you want more. It's not that you don't appreciate what you have. It's just you want a little more. And everybody wants a little more. Um, when we have more, we can give more, whether it's time or money or our good health, um, those, those areas that we talked about earlier in the week, those four areas of life where, no, sorry, there's five of them. One, two, three, four of them. I can remember my own notes, right? Um, health and uh, activity. You know, the more we, the more health that we have or the better health we have, the more we can do things, um, the more active we can be. Um, with our relationships, um, the more positive the, that we feel about ourselves and about others, um, we can really help to grow those relationships and really cultivate amazing relationships. Um, when it comes to our career or volunteering or that aspect of your life, again, more is more. And when you have more, you can give more. So for example, here with Living Healthy List, when we have more people who participate, more people who are in our community, we can only help more people that way. So the more we are in, um, we're bringing people in, the more we're helping, the more people we are helping. And then of course, finally, we have the time slash money freedom. Um, when it comes to having more time, sometimes is if you have a little bit more money, you have a little bit more time because you don't have to, you know, work another side gig. You don't have to work a second job. Um, and then that frees up your time. So these are the four areas in life that we really want to focus on and start to truly get what we want from them. So of course, on the, <coughs> Tuesday and went, <Wednesday, coughs> excuse me, Tuesday and Wednesday. Oh. <coughs> This is an interesting day. <coughs> hmm. I'm still experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. Hi, Jeannie. Thank you for finding me. Mm. Okay. I think I'm okay. So, again, Tuesday and Wednesday, we focused on what those kind of the two main obstacles that get in our way. Two main obstacles uh, are inner critic, that voice that's kind of always yammering in our head. And the fact that we tend to self-sabotage when we are not, when we're not comfortable with um, getting what we want, you know, whether we don't think that we, we deserve it or um, we're not ready or we're fearful, whatever it might be, self-sabotaging behavior can truly get in our way. And we talked about what we can do to avoid that and to get around those. Um, yesterday, we talked about being smarter, those smarter goals. Yeah, I know everyone's done smart goals. Every program does smart goals. But I really want you to focus on, obviously, the smart part, smart part is important. But the er part, the excitement and the relevance piece, I honestly believe that those are the two pieces that have been missing when it comes to us reaching our goals and getting what it is that we want. 
in our life, our career, our business, whatever it might be. And so again, the excitement, you have to be excited about a goal that you're setting for yourself. Um, I think the example I used like the, yesterday was, you know, if you say your goal is I'm going to go to the gym five days a week at five o'clock in the morning and you sleep late most mornings, like me, I don't get out of bed till seven o'clock. Uh, that's never going to excite me. Being at the gym at five o'clock in the morning is never going to excite me at any day, any way, shape or form in my life. Just not going to happen. I went to a class, a 615 class one time. And seriously, it was, it was horrible. It would have, it could have been a great class, but it was just too early. You know, it just what didn't fit in my life and I wasn't excited about it. So I kind of drudged through. So this great um, workout could have been awesome if it was two hours later. So again, you have to be excited about the goal and it needs to be something that you are excited about getting for yourself, not something that somebody wants for you or somebody thinks you should want. Um, again, this is all about you because who's the most important person in the world? You are uh, as women. Who's the most important person in our world? Everybody else? Wrong. Most important person in the world. Jeannie Unger, tell me who's the most important person in the world? Because I'm, I'm picking on Jeannie because she's here live with me. <laughs> and I think you know the answer. Um, so that is uh, really important that um, we really are doing something that excites ourselves. Uh, and then the relevance piece. Yes, she, Jeannie says, me. Yes, Jeannie, you are the most important person in your life. And you're very important to me, too. So remember that, um, my dear friend. So today I, no, so I'm not, I'm getting ahead of myself. So that was the excitement piece. And that second piece was relevance. It needs to be relevant to where you are today in your life. Um, if you're looking at a goal, something that, you know, five years ago would have been great or five years from now would be great. Um, you're either beyond that and you need a new goal and because you're in a different place in your life, you're in a new season of your life. Um, for example, if you've got little kids at home, yeah, you're not going to the gym most days, right? Um, but if you have older teenagers and they're gone most of the time, guess what? You have freed up a lot of time. And so that is um, what I mean when it comes to the, the season in your life. Um, you know, sometimes we go through periods where we got a lot of stuff going on um, or, you know, we're traveling like Mark and I, you know, travel a lot in the wintertime not this past year, um, but that's usually what we do. And so if I set a goal for myself, that's, you know, in January and February, that's never going to happen because I'm going to be on vacation. And so if I set a business goal for myself, that doesn't make sense. So again, it needs to be relevant to who you are and where you are in your life. So that's our recap from Monday through Thursday. So today I want to talk about uh, something that's um, interesting. There's a book that I don't have in front of me. It's actually in the other room. Um, and it basically talks about um, kind of dynamic duos. So let's think of some dynamic duos that you can think of. Jeannie, if you can think of one or two, pop it in the chat if you would. So dynamic duos. How about Scooby-Doo and Shaggy? Thelma and Louise. Oh, wait, maybe that's not the best one considering they drove off a cliff. So ignore that one. Um, Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. Hmm. Simon and Garfunkel. What would si what would Garfunkel be without Simon? You know, invite, well, okay, Simon did a pretty good job after the fact. But, you know, you think of Simon and Garfunkel, you don't really just think of one. They did it together. Lewis and Clark. Okay, they did have um, um, Sacagawea with them. So mm, this maybe this was a trio instead of a dynamic duo. But this is uh, another one. Uh, Paul McCartney and John Lennon. <laughs> Jeannie just says Batman and Robin. Absolutely. What about this one? And I don't know if you guys have heard of this one. This is a really great dynamic duo. Ready? Suzanne King, Suzanne Taylor King and Denise Stegall with the podcast, The Crooked Climb with Suzanne and Denise. Truly, the two of us have been saying forever, you know, I want to do a podcast. I want to do a podcast. Well, we never got around to doing it alone. <laughs> we never got around to doing it alone. So together we created this podcast 
and we love it. We have a blast. We are sharing so much great information. So if you haven't checked it out, guys, yes, I'm doing a little plug here for my podcast. It's The Crooked Climb with Suzanne and Denise. And we are, you can find us on um, any place that you find your favorite podcasts. And hopefully this will be one of your new favorite podcasts. Um, so one last one that um, Jeannie just mentioned, the Mayo Brothers. Hey, I live in Rochester, Minnesota, the home of the famous Mayo Clinic. Why is it so famous? Because of the two brothers, right? And truly, if Mayo Brothers were not here, and if the convent wasn't here too, because the nuns played a good part in this, Rochester, Minnesota would just be another little dinky town in the middle of nowhere. Instead, we are this famous little town, kind of in the middle of nowhere, but um, we are a famous town uh, because of the dynamic duo of um, Charlie and Willie Mayo. So again, um, can any of these dynamic duos or the trio, as I mentioned earlier, would they have been successful on their own? Perhaps, you know, some of them had a little bit of success. Um, one of the things are one of the people or groups of people that come into my mind a couple of years ago, Mark and I were in uh, Stockholm and we went to the ABBA museum. Totally. If you ever in Stockholm, you got to go because it's really flipping cool. Um, but what I what I didn't realize until I had gone to the museum there was each of the four um, singers, the two women and the two men, and I can never remember their names, so I'm not even going to try. Each of them had some success in um, in a singing career alone. So one of them was in a band, another one sang with a group, that kind of thing. So they had some success on their own, but you've never heard of those groups. But I bet you know just about every song that ABBA ever sang, right? So what I'm talking about today is about not going it alone and how working with someone, um, whether it's a coach or a consultant or um, doing a, you know, a group program, whatever it might be, together you can achieve so many, so much more greater things. Can you do things on your own? Yeah, sure. Of course you can. One, it's not as much fun. And two, it takes a lot longer. You know, they always say there's strength in numbers, but also, you know, two heads are smarter than one. And so when you think of those things, like it makes sense to, if you want to achieve a goal, if you want something in life, that it makes sense to work with somebody who can help you get there and get there faster. So working with a coach to me is, is truly an essential piece of getting what you want. And I say that not just because I'm a coach, but because I have invested in coaching in the past. Um, because again, can I, would I be where I am today? Probably not. Would I get here eventually? Yeah, I probably would, but it may not be for another two or three or four years. With coaching, with the coaching that I've had in the past and, and still continue with, I do work with a coach. Um, it's a group program and it's awesome. Um, I also have, um, of course, my the other half of the dynamic duo of uh, Suzanne and Denise. So with Suzanne, um, we bounce ideas off of one another pretty much every day. I mean, it's actually kind of weird when I go on vacation and we don't talk to each other for a couple of days. It's like we get like, like I have to talk to Sue. Where's Sue? I have to talk to Sue. Because the ideas that we come up with together are so much better and so much clearer than ideas I come up with on my own. And sometimes, you know, sometimes um, we put, I might have an idea and then I mention it to Suzanne and she takes that idea to the next level and vice versa. So again, you know, together is better. Yes, Jeannie, together is better, right? I mean, think about when you go out for a walk. It's, yeah, you can go for a walk. You can go for three miles on your own, but isn't a lot more fun to do it with somebody else, which by the way, we should do uh, next Friday. Um, I think those are the things that, you know, we kind of forget about. And as women, we tend to go, I'll take care of it. I'll do it. I'll take care of it. I'll be fine on my own. Well, I'm here to tell you not to go it alone. Yes, you'll be fine on your own, but if you want to get what it is that you want, you can't do it alone. 
at least not in the time frame that you want. So what is the deal with having a coach? Number one, a coach is kind of like your cheerleader. They're positive, they're enthusiastic, um, they're observant. Sometimes a coach will see something in you that you just do not see or cannot see. Um, you know, we never really like to toot our own horns. Um, and so very, very often we don't. And when we don't do that, we start to forget that, you know, we're as awesome as we are, right? So as a coach, that's what coaches do. They help you to kind of come out of your shell. I mean, even, I mean, I'm not one who's in a shell, you know, guys, you know me pretty well. I'm pretty uh, open and pretty um, enthusiastic on my own and pretty much an extrovert, not an introvert. But there are still parts of me that, yeah, my inner critic sometimes goes in my ear. And as much as I have my positive affirmations, sometimes it takes that other person to say to me, hey, Denise, you know what you're doing. You know your stuff. You're going to be great. Let's move forward, right? So the other thing that I think is amazing about coaching is they help you realize where it is you are today, not where you are last year or last week or 10 years from now. That's kind of what a a therapist does is they try to figure out what happened to you then to figure out why you are where you are today. Okay. Well, I don't know about you, but you can't go back in the past, right? I mean, I know this, you know, time travel, you can't go back there and fix those things. What a coach does is to help you realize this is where you are today. And yes, if you need a therapist, they will recommend that you see one. But if it's something that you, if you don't need a therapist and you really are just looking for someone to help you move forward, that coach will help you, again, figure out where you are today so you can get where you want and what you want tomorrow, okay? Rather, whether tomorrow is literally tomorrow, next week, next month, blah, blah, blah. Um, coaches are very much forward thinking and we have to be um, because, again, we 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 live here today and we're looking, planning for the future. And that's what you are looking for, right? You want something in your life that you don't have today, but you want in your future. So that is why, one of the reasons why I started Living Healthy List Academy. So in the academy, and I'm going to see if I can um, share my screen. Let me see if I can do this um, because I want to show you guys what the academy looks like and how it's set up. So let me see. I know it says here somewhere I can share, share screen. What does that say? <laughs> screen share is easiest with two monitors. I don't have two monitors. I have one monitor. Okay. I'm just, this is the first time I'm, I've tried this guy. So bear with me. Um, hmm. Entire screen. Well, let me see. Oh, look, it looks like I'm sharing my, <laughs> I'm sharing my screen of us. Okay, so that did not work the way I had hoped. <laughs> let me see uh, if I could do that, try that one more time. Um, now I understand why they say it works better when you have two, <laughs> two monitors. <laughs> ah, that's too funny. I'm gonna try it one more time. All right. Oh, it did show. Let's see. Did the Academy show? No, nope, hold on. Okay. So share, share screen. Uh, 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 no, I'm sharing the same screen. I'm sharing the screen of us. Okay. So, well, uh, I guess I'm not going to share you, uh, show you the, uh, Academy. I apologize. I think I'll have to figure that out for next time. Um, but what the Academy, um, how it's uh, set up is it is set up essentially like a member. So when you become a member of the Academy, when you when you sign up for a program. Now, again, these are programs that are um, introductory programs. So they're, they're kind of like college 101 classes. Um, they're really to introduce you to whatever the topic is. Um, for example, I have a program in there called Reconnect to Health. I know, really boring title. I've got to work on that. And what Reconnect to Health is about, it's about, okay, starting with where are we today and where do we want to be in six weeks from now? And the steps to show you how to get um, healthier, whether it's because you want to 
exercise a little more, you want to uh, eat better, you want to prep your own food. And I think one of the biggest challenges for most people when it comes to eating healthfully is they don't prepare their own meals. Jeannie, I know you're really good about that. Um, but I think that's really one of the biggest problems. And so we hand you, I hand you the, um, the shopping list, the recipes, um, the menu, everything that you need right there and right there and then. And so through this program, um, you get to see how, how I think, you know, why do I do things the way I do them? And so then at the end of that program, if you are so inclined, you can connect with me directly. Actually, during the whole, the, the six weeks, you can connect with me directly. Why? Because at Living Healthy List, we know that the connection between the expert and the client is essential. That's the piece that's missing online. If you just go online and go on somebody's website and buy their program, purchase their program, you download their program, you don't know that person yet. They don't know you, but guess what? you're not going to because you're basically just in their you're in their funnel and that's it at living healthy list we go beyond that and we want to connect with our um with our audience with our um clients anyone who joins living healthy list uh, or sorry the academy really becomes part of this community and so on the academy right now we have three six nine ten eleven twelve there are nine courses that are available. Um, I have three more courses. We're going to be continually adding courses. And some of the courses at some point will rotate out, which makes sense. Um, but what is important to, to know about these courses is, again, these are all courses in different, in those four areas that we talked about. So if you notice that, um, say, you want to have uh, more time and money freedom, and you're not really sure how to do that, we have a course here called Mastering Success Behaviors and Habits that's done, uh, that was uh, created by, you're going to love this, Michelle, the money boss. Um, and she, her program is amazing. It's short, but it walks you through the, the pieces that you haven't really thought about. I mean, usually when we think we want, we want to have more money, we think, oh, we have to make more money. Well, that's part of it, yes. But maybe we also have to save more money. Or we have to notice where we're spending the money, where we really don't need to be spending the money. Um, I remember when I was with um, Take Shape for Life, um, one of the things people would always say to me was, well, Denise, I don't have X amount of dollars, you know, every month to, you know, to buy this, this, this food product, um, these supplements. Um, that will, one, help them and get them on the road to what they want. But they would say, oh, I don't have the money. And then as we were talking through... These are people that were spending, you know, $30, $40, $30 a week at Starbucks. You know, it's a $5 cup of coffee. It's a $6 muffin. It's, you know, they had lunch there. So it's really about, about reprior, reprioritizing. But I think it's more importantly, it's about awareness. So there's that, there's that course there. For those of you who are dealing with stress and you want to kind of stress less in life, and that goes, that works when it comes to your health, it comes to um, actually, that actually goes through and, and touches in each of those four areas in, uh, in life. Um, this program is called Ready, Set, Meditate. It's a 30-day um, program that walks you through. And really, it's a 30-day transformation, not a program. It's a 30-day transformation because truly, if you follow along and listen to the videos or watch the videos and do the work, you will absolutely transform yourself from a person who is stressed out and constantly reacting to things to somebody who's basically calm, cool, and collected and can, instead of reacting to things, can um, accept them, think about it, and then either, you know, react accordingly or act, sorry, act accordingly. Um, and Ready, Set, Meditate actually is um, our uh, most expensive program. Most of our programs, um, I think that my, one, of my, one of the programs is $17. Uh, Reconnect to Health is 47 um, they're all under $300. Ready, Set, Meditate, as I said, is um, one of our more expensive, but it's the most um, intense, not intense, it's the um, longest program. It's, again, it's a 30-day program. So in 30 days, um, there's a lot of material, a lot of education. And throughout the program, you can go into the membership. You just get, you get a membership, you log in, all that kind of fun stuff. In each 
on each lesson, there is a link directly to um, Cheryl Bailey, who is the person who is the author and he's, she's the instructor of this program. So again, when it comes to connection, you can connect to that person every single day if you want email, um, Facebook group, those kinds of things. So again, this is a connection. And in this program, this is really what we, we want to consider um, a, 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 you know, a, a membership or um, yeah, a membership. So when you are part here, you, when you buy one program here, you're um, part of uh, the bigger picture and we're here to help you. Um, the great thing too, is each of the the instructors knows about the other programs. So when you have that one-on-one -on -one conversation, because we do have those built into the programs too, is that connection with person. You know, you get a 15 minute call. That's awesome. So most of the time you don't get that with online programs. It's just, here's the curriculum, go for it, you know, good luck and that's it. Um, what about relationships? So if you want to upgrade your relationships, what do you do? I don't know. Um, Oh, the Academy did show. Oh, it did. Oh, interesting. I'm going to go back there and try that again then. Um, so when it comes to love, what does, you know, what do you do? You think, you know, something different. Um, right. Uh, I'm still trying to see, oh, let's see if I could do this. Oh, I think it worked. I think it actually worked. There we go. There's the Academy. Thanks Jeannie for, uh, for that. So here's the Academy. This is Living Healthy List Academy. Um, that's not me, obviously. But again, um, so this is what it looks like when you when you uh, log into academy.livinghealthylist.com. And this is what you find. And then below that are all of the different courses. So again, let's go back to uh, relationships. Uh, Lori Bryant Woolridge, or Lori BW, as I call her, she has a program called No Love. And that's K-N-O-W. And this is a program that it's, it's a four module program and you, you videos of uh, Lori has four videos that tra are training videos um, that really walk you through. And what I love about these programs is the fact that we have there, a lot of them have videos. I mean, they all have a, at least a video, but what is important about the videos is you get to hear that person's voice and you get to know how they teach, how they talk and whether you resonate with them. So the other day I was talking, you know, about, you know, how do you pick a coach? You know, you just, do you just pick, oh, that person looks nice. Oh, that person sounds like me. With the Academy, you can take a program, you could take a course, you can learn more about the instructor. You can go on to livinghealthylist.com and go on their profile. You can read their blog posts. So this is get another way that you can get to learn who, these coaches are and whether or not you want to work with them. And I really would recommend um, going on today. I'm going to put it in the notes. Um, it's academy.livinghealthylist.com. And there we go. Let's see, did I type it right? I did. Um, I really highly recommend that you pop in, take a look at some of the courses because, again, the best way, the easiest way, the simplest way to get what it is that you want in life is to not go it alone and to get the support of somebody who is on your team, who is on your side and is your cheerleader. So any questions, any thoughts, any comments, um, either put them in the chat here live if you're watching the replay I uh, definitely would love to connect with you. Um, you can always connect with me on Facebook, either uh, on our business page or our um, Facebook group, which is called um, uh, Healthy Living, Happy Life, which of course is my logo, Healthy Living, Happy Life, because we know if you are living a healthy lifestyle, happiness comes hand in hand. It doesn't work the other way. Just because you're happy doesn't mean you're healthy. And if you're not healthy, then you really can't be totally happy. So um, they do go hand in hand, but that healthy lifestyle is really what we're focusing on. And once we can be healthy mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, then happiness um, happens. 
So that's what I have for you today. Um, one of the things I'd love for you to do, and I'll have this information on the, uh, the action guide, is I want you to figure out like who is your dynamic duo? You know, is it your sister? Is it your brother? Is it your best friend, your cousin, uh, your husband? Um, you know, who is that person that helps you to get to that next level? You know, who, who really supports you? And then um, with that, you know, think about what the person that you're looking to work with, like what it or the area of your life that you're looking to expand on. Look at the courses on Academy livinghealthylist.com. And if you have questions, shoot me a message uh, again on either through the Academy, you can shoot me a message or on Facebook. Uh, let's see, I'm going to put another plug in for the dynamic duo of Suzanne and Denise, the crooked climb with Suzanne and Denise, because life and linear are not life and linear life and business are not linear it does kind of do this doesn't doesn't it kind of meanders. Um, and again, you can find us anywhere that you uh, listen to your favorite podcasts. So it's been great being with you here this week. I'm going to be here again tomorrow. Tomorrow, I will be back again at 1.30 Central Standard Time, um, basically to answer any questions that you guys have to um, do a little bit more training. Uh, hopefully, I'll figure out how to get a little bit more uh, on the, the screen here. And maybe I can show you a little bit more of the Academy, which I just did. Very cool. So here's No Love. Um, kick your food cravings. Um, this is actually this is actually making uh, perimenopause magical. So as you can see, we have so many great things um, that are here on the academy. This is an essential oils 101. We all know what essential oils are. This is a $17 program that will help you kind of say, okay, I have these essential oils. Here's one in front of me. Actually, here's several of them. So now what? I have them. Now what? Right? Oh, I'll smell them. They smell good. I'll put some on my neck. Mm. This program is intended to be that, okay, I've got them now. Now what? So again, um, that's really all I have for you today. Thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you, uh, Jeannie, for being with me and always supporting me. You're such a great friend. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, take a look at the academy.livinghealthylist.com. Uh, until tomorrow, I will leave you with this. As always, healthy living, happy life. Thank you. Bye, everyone.